The last segment we are going to talk about today in relation to everything that we learned on the Hasbro PulseCon 2022 Transformer panel, we are going to cover that poster that they showed us for Transformers Legacy Evolution and all the secrets that kind of lie under that poster. We've already had this before. When we saw our Kingdom poster and all those characters on it, there was a lot of sneaking suspicions of toys that we were going to get, and most of those did happen. Some didn't, like Polar Claw and a few others, but most of them did happen. When we saw our Legacy poster, it gave us a window into the toys that we were going to get with that. And now we have this one. And there's a lot of interesting stuff going on here. A lot of things that we had to zoom in like crazy to look in the background. But let's do that, shall we? There's a lot of cool stuff here. So we're going to stop, start with the top left of the poster. So behind Lyo Prime, Lyo Convoy, and under Breakdown in the top left, you see a little space bridge, this little fork space bridge. And what's interesting about that is it's a space bridge based off of how space bridges looked in the Transformers animated TV series. So is that suggesting that we might be seeing animated characters at some point? Is that kind of giving us a cue of that? I might think so when we continue later on in this little poster. When we go to the right, right behind Tarn's gigantic Decepticon-looking face, we have, of course, and probably the most obvious one here of the Armada celebration for Transformers Legacy Evolution, we have Armada Optimus Prime. Now, we know that he's coming. There's been a lot of talk ever since, even before the Big V back in 2019, seeing those prototypes. It's just a matter of time. The belief is he's probably going to be our leader class or our commander. Probably, I'm going to have to say, probably a leader class and commander is going to be something else. But the point being is, he's coming. He's he's going to be a big part of all of this. Look at it, he's front and center. You know, he's right there. No, nothing hiding over with that one. And, you know, they already said it in the, the stream today. They said, you know, the Big V pushed things back. He was one of those things that were definitely pushed back because of the Big V and that prototype. And they've even talked about in, in Q&As how that prototype was still around and they're just looking for an opportunity to release it. They were being vague. This is going to happen. Armada Optimus Prime is going to be the, the face of Transformers Legacy Evolution because evolution is the, the buzzword of the Japanese version of Transformers Armada for this 20th anniversary of that brand. We keep going more to the right, and this one might be nothing, might be just you know to add flavor to the background, but we do see the Nemesis, and we do see the Quintesson corkscrew ship. Uh, those could be representations of future Titan-class product, or it could be absolutely nothing at all. <laughs> it could be just there for flavor and potentially whatever a Netflix series might be. And, you know, those are the traveling characters. Potentially. It could be something, could be nothing. Let's go back to the left, but now down to the midsection. We have Senator Crosscut. Now, this one doesn't come as too much of a surprise. When you got that skids mold, you know they're going to paint it every color of the rainbow. We already saw that with Masterpiece. Literally almost every repaint of that Skids mold, both in the Diaclone history and that of E-Hobby and Generation 1, has been done in those color schemes. There's literally only one variant missing, and that's the Red Red reboost, which is a whole other story. So Senator Crosscut, hey, it's going to be happening. We had an E-Hobby Senator Crosscut. We had a Generation Senator Crosscut. We had a Masterpiece Senator Crosscut. Now we're going to get one from this Legacy Skids mold. No surprise, and we're looking right at it right here. With the Dinobots also in that same shot, we have Grimlock and we have Swoop. Now, this isn't, you know, big surprising news. They already told us we were going to get all six Dinobots. So at least it kind of just shows us, hey, there he is. If anything, it's more we want to see that sixth member. Is it going to be an Ankylosaurus like some people are speculating? We'll get that Dino King thing like I'm speculating. We'll see. Everything's starting to add up. The more I look at it, even even the way that the the members of Dino King, how they sit inside Dino King, is the same members by the species of dinosaur, which is like 
you know, you have the Triceratops and you have the Bra the Brontosaurus and they're the same members. It's, it's, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm looking too deeply into it, but something's definitely up. Something is definitely up with those Dinobots. Now, below those Dinobots, here is the Transformers animated connection. He's almost kind of hanging out with a very similar Mad Max kind of looking uh, Rekar and the Junkions, but we got the alt mode of lockdown here. Hot rotted vehicle, spiked all over, it's got to be lockdown, even though the, the, the lighting might say otherwise, but that looks like lockdown. And sure, why not? That'll be our first animated toy, and it'll be a, a trademark that really outside of movie-verse stuff, we rarely see. So it makes sense to me. Sure, we got lockdown coming. That'll be kind of cool because the original Generations lockdown that we got, which was probably one of the last versions of that character outside of movie stuff, uh, goes for pretty decent money. So if they make a brand new lockdown figure that looks really good, and it's in that animated kind of flavor... People will be down for that. Then we go to the right and we got some Insecticons. Well, it was only a given that after we got Kickback that we would be getting Shrapnel and, of course, Bombshell. So those aren't a surprise, but at least they're there in the background. And if you look even deeper, I mean, I'm seeing something that might look like a spider. But then again, it just might be the way that they drew potentially Bombshell. But I'm seeing the Insecticons back there. And uh, yeah. So we're getting some definitely the last of our original Insecticons, and hopefully we can get some repaints and retools into Deluxe Insecticons at some point. Definitely. And then the last part of this art, the last part of it all, is the, more of the, the bottom right and kind of leaning to the right of it and just showing us how the play pattern works. And we see, you know, Hotshot, and while he has his, his, his cannon going off and everything... He has the Rekar spike shield wheel, you know, attached to his five millimeter port. We see the different mixing and matching of pieces of the Rekar units. And of course, our brand new scrap, our scrap hook guy and how the front end of his car is being used as a sidecar on one of the junkie on Rekar alt modes. And yet there's two junkie and Rekar alt modes that are being used as the front end on this one. Does that mean we're going to be getting another junkie on mold that could break apart? I mean, there's a lot of things to take away from that one. We did see that we'll be getting a Junkie on 2 at some point, and it was going to be in a deluxe class price point. So that Junkie on 2 in a deluxe class price point might be yet again another Junkie on in a deluxe class price point. We got core class Junkie ons, we got like Legends Junkie ons, we got Voyager Junkie ons. I guess they're really going to be covering all the price points. Maybe we'll get a leader Junkie on one day. Who knows? Who knows? But crazy stuff, crazy stuff, looks very interesting. But there's a lot of little, you know, little layers to this. There's a lot of layers going on with this poster, and, and it's giving us a window into what we're going to be getting in the future in 2023 with the Transformers Legacy Evolution line. And it's very exciting. There's a very diverse mix of different Transformer brands here. Yeah, there's still a lot of G1 that kind of outweighs everything, but there's still a lot of other stuff too, and that makes me happy. Needs a little more Beast Wars. You know, yeah, okay, maybe I'm getting greedy. I already got Lyo Prime, Lyo Convoy, but needs a little more Beast Wars, and uh, then I'll be happy maybe. <laughs> Let me know what you think, guys. This is awesome stuff otherwise. I, look, there's, there's other news. We're going to cover that other news, but we're going to cover it tomorrow during the Saturday night live stream. There's just too much today. It's just too much. Enjoy what I gave you. We're going to be talking tomorrow, and I'll see you then.